are at the museum and we are going to start tearing out the concrete driveway and getting it ready for some pavers we have a hurricane coming to florida so i'm not sure if we're gonna be laying the pavers next week or not it's supposed to hit this weekend and we're not taking out the whole driveway to start we're just taking out everything behind this gate right here so i'll show you what we have working with show you what we're working with there's that wall <clears throat> that we poured and so i'm gonna make a saw cut line right at this gate and then start ripping out this concrete here that is the plan and i do not have my tapcon bit so we'll see how that goes <laughs> Jose is sick today. He was going to be doing a repair on a different job, but he's sick, so Freddy just got here. Freddy's going to help me just do miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to set him up with the impact to. We don't have the tap on bit for these, but he can pull out the screws that they go into that so that they're free. And then it shouldn't mess with the wall whenever I pop it out. I heard you were at the hospital yesterday. Yeah, is your girlfriend okay? Yeah. Good. So what I'm gonna have you do is over here. I need to get all of these off, but I don't have the Tapcon bit. So we just gotta take them off from here. All on this side.
we got quite a bit done. I really need a grapple to make my life a million times easier. Some of these pieces have been trying to drop and break and some of them haven't been breaking very well, but a lot of them have. This one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make a big old pile around it and then I'll be able to lift that into the uh, dumpster with the forks. <coughs> I'm trying to get the pieces into bucket sized pieces so that I can just get it all with the bucket. But it's a little nerve wracking having this wall right here because I don't want to destroy the wall. Senor! <laughs> Perfecto. Perfecto mundo. I'm going to put the forks on and then get a couple of those pieces and put it over there. But we're good right now. concrete. Right, he's taking the forms off. I'm gonna take the machine home and put it in the barn so it's safe from the hurricane. Normally I'll just keep it over in the lot because we still gotta use it here. I'm not sure when the dumpster's gonna come though. No. Some of this stuff was thicker than I was expecting it to be. And then there were some thin spots, but. And this piece up here is five inches, even six in some areas. And then there's some other pieces that are about three and a half, four inches. That stuff I knew, that stuff is what I thought the whole thing was. So I knew the ASV would be able to handle it, but it handled even the thick stuff pretty good. couple hours and we got half the driveway out again I'm leaving this for now until the pavers arrive and then I'll rip this out good morning we are back at the museum we got the skid steer here the dumpsters showed up so I get to start loading the concrete I'm gonna go ahead and throw some cones around this dumpster first so the city doesn't come around and give me an earful and then I will start loading alrighty now this is post post hurricane here so I'm sure all of this was underwater over the weekend Don't 
squeaking all day long. Ain't nobody want to hear all that. So here I am just making myself a ramp to get in and out of this dirt area. Uh, nobody likes to bang around and especially with the ASV I want to make sure I take care of my bogey wheels and don't damage anything coming in and out of this concrete lip here and also save me a couple trips from the chiropractor in the future taking this two seconds to build a ramp. I just had a guy stop by and talk to me about how how this machine is. Ooh. I guess he said he had a rental company and uh, had some of the Toro Dingoes and was wondering about this machine. He was thinking about buying one for his rental business. Good things and bad things about it. And uh, I don't know if I'm necessarily the best person to uh, ask because I'm a little biased. I love this thing. But uh, he was talking about the tracks worried about the bogey wheels underneath and I haven't had an issue with one yet I've had this for two years now but uh, I have heard things about the bogey wheels falling off and having to constantly replace the bogey wheels on the track system but I watched a YouTube video before getting this thing of somebody replacing the bogey wheel and it did not look very difficult so it didn't worry me too much pretty pretty easy work jack it up loosen the tracks unbolt your bogey wheel and bolt the new one on so uh i was just telling them that i mean for me it's a good machine but i'm not sure how it would fare with the rental business because I mean, these things are expensive. You're looking at 60 grand for one of these. And I don't know if I could justify 60 grand just to rent it out. I mean, it's different when, if you're an owner operator, you're gonna be using the machine. And the 60 grand for this thing really comes in comfortability. It's still a small machine, but a very comfortable small machine. So I was just trying to explain that to him a little bit that, you know, it's worth it for me, but I don't know if it's exactly worth it for a rental company just 
to rent it out. But I'm sure, like he said, he has Toro Dingoes right now. He has two of them. This thing would get rented a lot more than a Toro Dingo. But it's also twice, if not three times, as expensive as a Toro Dingo. concrete loaded up in the dumpster as you can see I need to go dump the dump truck it's got a bunch of trash in it from a job I did over the weekend I tore my aunts my aunts uh, shed down and so I'm gonna go dump that come back and then I'll start getting this dirt out of here getting it down to the height we need to start putting the 89 rock down for the permeable pavers so I'm going to shut these gates and get working on that now. I will show you the dumpster. I was surprised that we filled it all the way up. I didn't think it'd fill all the way up. Yeah, you build your immune system up. I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. There's all full. I mean, we could have filled some more on the sides, but it's all the way up. All right, time to start digging. Getting some dirt out of here.
least a foot down from the top of favor. So after I grade this out, I'm gonna have to come back in and take a little bit more out, I can tell. I just don't wanna dig a hole to start off and then be too low. Even though being too low doesn't really matter here because the customer will pay for more material if we need more material. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in the next one.